Welcome to this research presentation by University of Derby, which was formed in 1851 as a teacher training institute. We are extremely proud of this heritage of ours and extremely proud about our teaching and learning focus. Academic Innovation Hub within the university, which I am part of and head uh, the department, is primarily looking at how we can look at educational technologies and pedagogies that would drive the education in future. We do the horizon scanning as part of the university work. MOOCs is an integral part of our approach. We are looking at MOOCs as a way of delivering a flexible education uh, in the future uh, and to take lessons from that approach to apply in our university-wide teaching and learning strategy. Massively open online courses, otherwise known as MOOCs, are well known for being accessible and open to an unlimited number of prospective learners who are free to take part in courses at their own pace. Yet, due to variations in learners' levels of maturity and experience, research suggests that MOOCs often are perceived as failing to maximise the potential of learners. This is reflected in the traditional low engagement rates and completion rates of MOOCs. But why is there such a heavy focus on completion and dropout rates within MOOCs? In 2014, research by Barley highlighted that the key focus should be on the amount of meaningful learning that is taking place. If MOOCs are focused on learning rather than on completion data, then they provide the opportunity to enrich both learner and teaching experience. In order to enrich learner experience and provide meaningful learning, researchers have suggested empowering learners through collaborative activities and ensuring that teachers are present within course design. Another way to encourage meaningful learning is through supporting learners. Although generic person-to-person -person support is not possible, given the key traits of a MOOC, our paper considered whether providing structured support to learners within a MOOC can facilitate an enriched and meaningful learning experience. MOOCs were meant to replicate higher education experience for the masses. Traditional higher education experience is a structured learning and a guided learning experience. Our paper questioned whether providing structured learning support to learners within the MOOCs can encourage meaningful learning and whether the learning that takes place is in sync with the order of support that is provided. One of the key aims was to see if providing support to learners increases the engagement and the completion rate within a MOOC. We tested these aims through running two MOOCs, the first on digital literacy and the second on dementia. Both MOOCs contained six units each but were open to learners for seven weeks. This allowed for the completion of one unit per week plus an extra week to complete any outstanding tasks for each learner. Each unit utilized a sequential week-by-week -week support structure, which is covered in more detail in the paper, but included aspects such as a defined course orientation, weekly course announcements, help support mechanism, and digital badges. There are a number of key findings from our research. Firstly, the sequential unit-by-unit -unit support had a clear impact on when in the course learners completed each unit. The units were designed to run in a consecutive order, each lasting a week, commencing on a Monday and concluding on the Friday. The charts show that the highest number of units completed per week were those for which there was support provided. This suggests that having a well-designed support structure encourages learners to engage with the course alongside their fellow learners, thus resulting in an enriched and meaningful learning experience taking place. The structured support had an impact on the number of enrolled learners who engaged with and went on to complete the whole course. Our first indication of this is based on the number of active learners. Active learners are classed as learners who have used at least one step of the course or one page of the course. The percentage of learners who were active within our MOOCs is higher than the average that is reported, an early indication of the positive impact of structured support. Another type of learner to consider is the engaged learner. By this, we mean the number of learners who have contributed to the course through taking part in at least one activity or discussion forum. Twice as many learners were engaged within our MOOCs than learners enrolled on other learning platforms as reported in the figure here. This demonstrates that our structured support encouraged learner engagement. We were also able to report that the completion rates for our MOOCs were significantly higher than previously reported averages. As presented, the number of learners who are active and engaged within the course and completing the course is higher than the average as well. Thus, providing consistent and well structured support to learners throughout a course plays a significant role in increasing completion, engagement and activity rates within a MOOC. 
The findings from this paper suggest that utilising consistent and structured support within a MOOC results in increased levels of engagement and completion and also causes more meaningful and enriched levels of learning to occur. However, the structured support may not have been the only reason behind a higher level of activity along with higher engagement and completion rate. Some of the evidence uh, suggested that our learning design aspect, uh, in particular the awarding of digital badges for completion of individual units, may have encouraged learner motivation and hence affected the engagement level. Future MOOCs should consider providing a structured learning journey along with a self-paced learning element to cater for the, all the different learning styles. This aims to limit learners' disengagement and allows the replication of a traditional higher education learning experience for our learners. Delivering a MOOC with open enrolment to a wide audience is never going to be easy. While many will compare the success of MOOCs based on completion rates, it is important to ensure that the learner is always at the centre of the course. MOOCs are still popular among learners and by providing a consistent and structured supported learning journey, we can encourage a meaningful and enriched learning experience for all.